Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. So this is part four of my video lecture series on the book Classical Painting Atelier. And the painting you see on my screen, it's by Diego Villacroix. I think that's how you say it. But Juliet has this painting in her book and she has drawn a few lines on it that are derived from the 14-line armature. But what I want to do is I want to build a little bit on the example that she has. So I'm going to recreate the illustration in her book and add a few lines. So let me get into this. And I'm using the same colors she does so that you can match up this video with the book if you do have it. So, and if you don't have it, you really should buy it. I think the last time I saw it was $5.99 on Amazon. Like I said, I'm going to try and duplicate the colors as close as I can that she has in her example. And she is getting these lines from the 14 Lion Armature. One thing to remember is that in her books, because she's teaching the artist design, she's not taking it to the full outcome of the actual design. And the reason she's not doing that is because she doesn't want to overwhelm her readers. And I agree with that because you have to learn this stuff slowly and you have to build on it. If you throw an example up there with a thousand lines on it, the artist is going to have no way of knowing what the hell is going on. So, all right, let me draw a few horizontal lines. And she does have these roughly around. I'll just make them yellow. And at the one half division, which this is, notice how it lines up with the top of those picture frames and the doorway. And then she has another horizontal division right here. And of course, these divisions are, der are derived from intersecting diagonal lines. And notice how it runs along the bottom of the door, that step right there where the figure is standing in the doorway. And by the way, the figure in the doorway, this is an exit point in the composition, but the figure is looking back at us, so it gives the viewer a way out, but it also brings us back into the design. And if you want to learn more about that, check out Henry Rankin Poor's book on pictor pictorial composition because he does talk about that quite a bit. All right, so this is what she has in the book. And what's going on here is you have a lot of these figures landing on the diagonal lines of the armature. You have one here and here and here as well. But if I drop a vertical here and I'm going to convert this to white and a dashed line, if I drop a vertical here, it's going to give me this figure which I believe is Diego. I think he painted himself in this composition. And it also gives me this vertical here. So I'm going to bring that right up to about there. I can also drop another vertical right here where this horizontal and this diagonal line meet and it lands on that figure right there. And I'll bring this up to about right there. But also, if I drop a horizontal line right here, and I'll bring this all the way across, where these two diagonal lines meet, it gives me the top of the picture frames here. And if I drop a vertical right here where these two diagonal lines meet, it gives me the edge of this picture frame. Let me try that again right here. And I'll move that over and it gives me the edge of that picture frame and I'll bring this down to the bottom right there. Also with this vertical I'm going to drive this up because it gives this division right here. So I'm going to bring that all the way up at that point. 
and also here I can drive a vertical right there where this horizontal and this diagonal line meet. I bring it to there. It's capturing the edge here of this. Not exactly sure what this is right here, but it gives you that. I'm not going to draw a lot more lines, but I just wanted to build a little bit upon what she has. However, if I drop diagonal lines here, the dog is going to land on this diagonal line right there. And this is also part of the armature because I could draw the other diagonal line right here and this is part of the 14 line grid. And I'll just do that just to demonstrate that. But it gives me the, the dog lands on that diagonal. And this is how it's done. This is how a master artist can compose their work. And of course, there's a lot more divisions in this painting, but I'm really wanna, I don't, I don't wanna go too far with this because, you know, I, I love the Barnstone DVDs and I watched them for years, but one of my biggest gripes with them is that he would show something on screen and it would have a thousand lines on it, but he never said how he arrived at it. And I was I was frustrated by that and I decided that if I was going to teach this, I would slowly build up this information just to help out. Because there's a, there is a lot of good information in those DVDs, even though it's a bit overwhelming, but... Like I said, that was just one of my gripes with it, and I always wanted to see how he would arrive at some of his conclusions, but that, that is one reason why I do this. So I hope this helps, and I will pick this up next week. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it.